the two. Arbed against Demo, both on incredibly aggressive heroes. You struggle against that coil. The leash mechanic. Well, Bone Leonard's easy. He's going to get taken down. They catch him in the acid spray. Acid spray and concoction. Top lane, ice, ice, ice. He's trying to go for fly, fly here with the help of crit. They get the disarm, but the nuke comes out for the purifying flames. I'll find the trade though. Crit will manage to bring down fly, fly in return. Yeah, with the three of them, if they can get that call. It depends how carefully Emo's going to play. Is he watching the levels on our bed? That's the question. Uh, Six has been here. Arbed, he's actually going to be the one to get jumped on. Yeah, Arbed will turn, drop the coil. Kaka's coming in from the side. As Amo falling low, he's still alive past the fairy fire, but he will finally go down. Hex out from Kaka onto Arbed. They'll get the trade, but easy they find the two. Double kill for Fly. Leveled for this type of a game. Weaver, six and a half, almost level seven. See bottom, Fly. Trying to set things up with the gush and the anchor smash. Minus 13 armor. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot for the setup of the physical. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, this time the Dream Coil get them the kill. Arbet does still die. Oli able to step up and nuke him down. So, just like some of the last time we had the Coil being used, that they are killing off Emo, but they're losing heroes in return for it. Bottom lane trying to go onto JT, but he's hit the six. Top Swashbuckle lane nearly also. gets him. But fly, the Chemical fly, Rage will keep him alive. Size. I mean, is he going to want to go for this? No, he's not. He's, he's, he's going to hold back. Uh, it's still potentially good, but I don't think he will want to get it. Most likely, he just wants to get some other items, uh, tank up a bit, get some extra armor, because they Emo. have a lot of minus armor. He's going to jump in. He's going to get coiled. The finger comes down twice. Ice Ice is not enough damage. Fly walks in for the side, drops the Ravage down. They've taken down Kaka. They'll be able to find Ollie as well. Roll from Ice 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 comes down to Emo. The Rolling Thunder from Crit continues to control Fly Fly. Fly Fly, he's got to back off now with the Shikuchi. Emo's getting low jump over to the side. Artis the Ashes is coming. Game. Looking towards Crit, but Crit, he is still alive. The concoction being brewed up by JT throws it down onto Crit. Crit finally falls. Time that's from Fly Flies. He's got to get out now. With RTZ turning up, they've got the damage. Fly Fly's got to run. As EG, they'll find three and they'll only lose the two themselves. RTZ just uh, trying to buy some space, buy some time with the TB illusion, but seems like IG I mean, is aware of that. He could try and go for a steal. It's falling low. Is he going to try and go in with the jump? He jumps forward, but it's already been taken. As EG, they get the kill. They get the Aegis onto RTZ. Concoction out onto Crit. JT heading in, but Crit's able to get out of the side with the Swashbuckle with the Rolling Thunder. Crit's out. In fact, he's ready to turn back over towards Emo. Ice 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 sets up with the Roar. Yule Scepter. Buys Another connection. Time, but the silence is there from Arbed. As soon as he comes back down, Emo's taken out, and Dream calls back up. As Arbed, he gets the lockdown onto Fly Fly. Onto Kaka. Still alive. Kaka's getting low. Crit and Fly focusing down the line. They beat out Kaka. Fly Fly and JT, they've got to run. The last two left alive as JT's chemical rage comes to an end. He's getting slowed down. EG, they'll chase him out, take him down as well. As EG, they take down four, they get Roche, and they get that Aegis on RTZ. Of course, does get taken away. Try and do something in return as EG, they're playing with the advantage right now. They're also ready on the bottom. Crit has a blank dagger. Silence. Hello? They jump in onto Crit. They've got the burst onto Arbet. Can they take him all the way down? They can. So they can go for Crit as well. Crit, and he's going to have to deal with a full five of them, and they'll get him. Emo sets up for the two. IG coming in in full force, diving behind that tier two to take down the both of them. See what they can do, but again, all ultimates are available for EG. EG oh, Kaka will take needs a to team be fight. careful. Kaka, he's going to try and initiate onto Fly. So if they can burst him already, though, Crit's coming from the side. They've dropped the Dream Coil down onto Emo. Emo buys a bit of time with the Self-Yours Fly, trying to get the Ravage off. Concoction puts it to a stop for now. Fly now gets the Ravage through. The BKB's out on Fly Fly, but he's been roared. Ice 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 beating into him. Fly Fly turns towards Fly. Will take down the Tide. False promise. Keeps Emo healthy as Emo continues to try and move on. Arteezy, he's dealing with JT on the back lines. Arteezy's illusions take down Ollie. Arteezy's going to be able to continue to run down JT as the JT can't escape this. Arteezy's going to slowly beat him down. Takes the triple kill back over in the triangle emo he's got to run it's just down to him and fly 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 flies had to get out of there on incredibly minimal hp emo tries to escape he, he will get out fly fly he won't though arbed chases him down finds him on the attempted escape like, I, I just don't think like fever is that hero like scepter cooldown is 20 seconds kaka getting caught once again we all would have loved to see the ags lion come into play as uh, jt's gonna try and start the defense here but rtz Eagle Song, Scardi, SMY, he's a big boy. And there's not a lot they can do to push him back. Tier 3 gets taken down. The Rax as well falling here to the, the damage of the Illusions. Crit, he's ready to come in. Fly Fly's got to put the BKB. The silence on to Arteezy. That's uh, not going to be able to catch him and keep him in position. As the rest of them, they're out of there. 
It's one of those decisions, like, we want to kill the barracks, but can we go in? We just use the Rolling Thunder, Arteezy. Let's see if he tries to put in some damage on the melee barracks. So A couple of right off. clicks, we'll he finish can. it off. He come in with a jump, but it's not nearly enough first to take down straight away. Fly is in with the counter Sunder. play, jumps in with the ravage. Arteezy's able to live, Sunder's Arbed keeps himself healthy. IG, they can't burst through him. Yeah, it seems like they were not on the same page. Like, they needed a bit of extra damage to be able to burst down the TB. Bloodthorn, I mean, but no, he's back, back to queuing up a BKB. IG holding the high ground. JT, so much value from the Trusted Shovel. Whenever you have Alchemist in the team, you pick up that Bounty Rune. Oh, yeah. Extra value coming from it. They know. EG is pinging it out. RG, they're going to try for the jump, JT. So not to RTZ, over to the side, though, the Dream Car is down. Chris having to come in with the Rolling Thunder. Ollie's, he's getting taken out low, fly with the follow-up Ravis. Ollie's gone, Karkin's gone as well. The Rolling Thunder continues to lock down Emo's. Emo's dead out of the game, they're going to call it. It's GG as EG with a fantastic start to the day here. This game won. They come in with some fun stuff. The, the five tied, the four pango. Utility but they don't counter the Timber, and IG go for a Bloodseeker. Wow. Uh, so you would imagine what overall this is This is going to be EG very happy with these these lanes, you know, Timber Saw against the Mars. They, they have one of the strongest combination of the heroes together. You have Acid Spray, AoE, Silence, you have Tag Team, which is the best pretty much I'm ability in the tri lane. Yeah, you can see why. Fly Fly will drop. Ho, ho, ho. I Pr mean, Kakra as well, he's going to take quite a bit of a punch. Oli will come in with the TP. Kaka still standing in the Acid Spray. He's got to be careful. Yeah, compared to Arteezy's 7 CS, yeah. it's not that much, but they've got the two kills. They also oh, mid. Emo. He's going for the dive on Arbed, and he's going to get it. Very nicely done there from Emo. Creeps it. Snowball. Let's see if they can get the kill this time onto Kaka. It's Kaka. Oh, he didn't get the tag team off. I'll still get the kill, though. It's Fly Fly. He's trying to fight back into this, but Crip, he's able to keep himself alive, and now they're just around Fly Fly. As Fly, he gets himself both of the kills. EG back to to just killing this yeah, bottom lane Fly time and time again. Fly Fly, <laughs> killing his older brother. He's uh, twice his age. Oh boy. Yeah, once Taz gets uh, to level three, I want to see if he goes an extra point in the tag team. I yeah. like that a bit more, even though like I charge a lot of value to block off like these slow heroes like Shadow Shaman. Shadow Shaman after dying will TP oh, mid. Look at this bottom. cast. The two of them are standing together perfectly for EG to just step up, get the bounces. Ollie's dead again. Oh, this Invis rune could catch him by surprise. The Dream Core's down, Acid Spray onto the ground. He tries to escape. The stun will kill him off. Counterplay to come in from JT. He's got the catch onto our bed. Phase shift in play, but as soon as he's back out, the arena wall smashes him down. And fly, fly. It's going to need a, a fair bit of recovery time after those three deaths in the safe lane. EG there hunting for him. Uh, he's not going to get much room for the recovery time at all. As EG step up into the triangle, that's another death on the Bloodseek. I mean, EG making this start very, very tough for the Bloodseek. At 0 4 and 1 now of EG's consistent moves to hunt him down. Fly Fly very good at respawning in this game. Four deaths already, nine minutes in. Like, he needs some time. Like, they need to... The problem is, like, Warfling, he can potentially buy time, you know, if he plays aggressive with the attribute shift, but uh, they're not playing around him. See, IG, everybody to get the catch on to Fly. As they themselves make moves over to the half of EG's map. They're looking towards the mid as well. As Emo keeps the pressure up. More than fine, you know, he's staying 1k gold ahead of Morphling now, but the Battle Fury is just going to skyrocket. How's... Oh, Ollie! Still needs a bit of time for that hammer. I'm still having to, to, to play the catch-up game mid lane. Emo's got the back of a Kaka. They, they're going to try and see if they can take down Ice Ice Ice. See if they have the damage. Rupture and Blood Rider down. TP's coming in, Ice 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 trying to back away up to the high ground. Arena's down though, trapping the two of them. JC will be able to finish off the kill on Ice Ice Ice. Fly, also in trouble. The Voodoo Restoration healing him up, but not enough. Emo able to beat him down. Over towards the river, Crit rolls in, gets on top of Kaka. They'll find one in return. Arbed is being chased. Uh, will be able to dodge the nuke and the Blood Bride, but not able to dodge the burst coming out from JT. Zaiji, JT's going to look for the jump. He's in with the blink. He's going to look to open up onto Ice Ice Ice. See if they can burst him. 
This time he's got a bit more of a backup. EG jumping, Arteezy's over. On top of Ollie. Snowball follow up, Ollie's chain stuck. No chance for Ollie to get a single save off. As they'll roll in onto JT, take out another. Ice 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 has been ruptured, but he's able to hold his ground. It's IG, they've got to run. Another concoction coming up from Arteezy. He's got the blink ready. Blink ready. straight in over towards Fly Fly. Gets himself on top of the Bloodseeker as Fly Fly will attempt to run. But EG, they're chasing him down. Snowball's up from Crit as they'll close the gap. He's got the shards. Well, actually, a, a Penguin li misses. little off there. You know, very much able to play aggressively with these blink stuns. And not too much that IG can do to punish him, especially if the rupture's already been used on Ice Ice Ice. It's hunting for the action. Arteezy. He's able to find Ollie. Blinking at the last moment of that concoction, able to get it out over to the Oracle. Of course, even then, you know, a BKB Bloodseeker with a Maelstrom does not sound too scary at all for, for an Alchemist with as much farm as RTZ is going to have. He definitely does not want to focus the Bloodseeker. Like, they want to deal with the support, kill Oracle, kill Shadow Shaman, then deal with the rest. RTZ, he's ready to go. He's charging in. He's got the blink ready over towards Emo. Emo wave form into the side. Concoction will still connect JT Zoning popping arena. down the arena to try and keep Emo safe. And it will work. It will allow the two of them to back off. Like seven to ten minutes. He has. No, he's been able to avoid any move. Bottom Bottom lane, lane. easy. He's gonna start off some action, jumping in onto Emo. Arbet's able to TP over with the Dream Call follow-up. Ollie's watching for the sub, but Arbet jumps over with the silence. Make sure that Ollie's not able to get it with the save. Emo stunned up by the paralyzing cast. Deathmore down. Emo's off to the side looking for the TP. RTZ is able to find him. He's he not is. getting out. The bash is there. RTZ cancels the TP. That was such a nice move from EG there. Might even be getting to territory where some of uh, EG's heroes could look towards RTZ for an for an agonist. Is that farmed this game? IG, now stepping over, can they get a jump off? RTZ is going to be the one to go. He's straight over towards Oli. Oli getting low, he's going to get burst out by Ice Ice Ice. Oli buys back immediately. Fly Fly coming in with the BKB. Emo trying to look towards Arbit, but Arbit's able to break away. RTZ turns over towards Fly Fly. Fly Fly goes down. Over he goes towards Emo. Emo's cut down. Double kill for RTZ as IG. Oh, They've got Oli to run. Back. Oli they is see trying him. to live with the Shadow Amulet, but they have the detection. It's four dead. Now Fly Fly is brought back, but he cannot re-enter this fight with three of his teammates down. That was EG such again. a sick save from Crit there with the snowball. Alchemist had the ulti running, so like those seconds inside the snowball allows them to reset. Extra regeneration kicks in. Now they can go in to the bottom lane. Roche will respond in a minute and 20 seconds. They also killed the Oracle. He bought back, died again. Also a buyback from Fly Fly. Yeah, so that hurts. And already a man that, that didn't have a lot of money. Definitely doesn't feel good for the Bloodseeker. Just as he uh, pretty much has been having it all four performances. EG just just getting to play the exact Dota that they planned for. There it is. Arteezy, spider leg, swift link. Like he's going to be zooming in those team fights. Let's see the move speed. Oh, 600. He's going to jump straight over towards the Shaman. Kaka's gone. JT will be able to turn Spear Arteezy over towards the arena. And now the snowball. snowball. Crit's going to be able to buy some time. They're moving over towards Emo. Emo has been false promise. He's got to back off a lot of damage coming out from EG. JT trying to run. He's getting taken out by the cleave of the battle for your RTs. Four dead. Five dead. It's a team wipe. No buybacks. It's over. GG is called. As yeah. EG, yet again, just a brilliant.